What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Legacy Wednesday. Today we're gonna look at the Deleting Glare uh, Gothitelle deck. Now we're actually not attacking Gothitelle. We're actually talking about Gotharita. Uh, but, but before we go into the deck, I want to get go into this deck. I want to give a huge shout out to Calvin Cochran. He's actually the one who. I, well, when I played when I played against this deck, this is the guy who played it all the time uh, during the city championship. We played. He played this deck a lot. He did beat. He did beat me pretty bad one time. Uh, I was playing Darker Hydragon. This is probably like three years ago, maybe two, three, four. I don't know how many years ago. Um, and he destroyed me. This deck destroyed me. Like it just. Woo! I mean, I. It's a crazy deck. That's all I can really say. Uh, but today we're gonna learn about this Godstill deck. We're gonna see what's it about and why it's such a strong deck and why it's still probably a great contender on PTCGO, especially in the legacy format. So let's go over it and let's see what's it about. The deck plays 434 Gothitelle. Uh, Gothitelle has the ability Magic Room. As long as the Pokemon is your act Pokemon, your opponent can't play item cards from their hand. Um, this is just like the trend we have now, um, which makes it where your opponent can't play item cards. So this is pretty much going to be our main ability. But, like I said, the main attack that we're going to be using is this Gotharita. Gotharita has an attack called Deleting Glare. Uh, that's why we call the deck Deleting Glare Gothitelle. Uh, Deleting Glare says, flip a coin if has discard energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So, anywhere. This is on the bench, in the axe spot, whatever you want to. Deleting Glare can delete energy on the field, which is really, really nice. And that is what we're going to go for today. We're going to use Deleting Glare, get rid of all of our opponent's energy, and eventually win the game that way. We're, we're going to eventually start attacking with Gothitelle with Machinesis 30, and then 20 more damage for each Psych Energy attached to this Pokemon, but we're going to slowly build it up and delete all of our opponent's energies off the field, and then start using Machinesis. It seems very mad and crazy, but I promise it does work. Now, you're probably asking, okay, so you're saying we're attacking with Gothrita, but Gothitelle is in the act spot. Yeah, I'm, and that's what I'm saying. Um, luckily, there is a Celebi EX. Celebi EX has the ability Time Recall. Each of your Evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolutions. You still need the necessary energies to use the attack. So, the idea is you mainly evolve into a Goth Gothitelle. And once you do this, you can use Celebi Time Recall on the bench to start using Gothritas Deleting Glare and take games that way it seems like a crazy idea but i promise it does work and it does win new games which is really 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 nice i do love this, do love this idea a lot it's really really cool i don't lock in plus the combination of deleting uh, uh, discarding energies is such a strong thing in this format now no real, real way to get around goth tail in this format right now is either get like an early garboner or uh genesect the red signal i don't think there's any way else around this i could be wrong but i think i'm i think i'm right now something you might be asking all right so what happens if you flip tails if you flip tails, tails you don't discard energy well that's where victini shines a uh, victini has the ability victor star star what's your turn before you flip any coins for an attack you may ignore all things of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again you can't use more than one victor star ability each turn so if you flip tails you may all right victor star i'm gonna re-roll that and hit Probably heads. The odds, the odds are in your favor to hit heads. Um, having two chances is really nice. So you do have. I mean, it's 50-50 both times, but like, it, you, I mean, hopefully 50-50 two tries. You should leave, You should like hit one. Theoretically, you should hit one. I mean, it's not a guarantee, but still, it's really, really cool. And if you flip heads, you can discard energy anywhere on the field, which is really, really nice. The deck also has Keldeo X with the rush in, with the flow stone, and everything like that. I uh, you can. Put a Keldeo, Fallen Stone, Rush in Retreat if needed. Uh, so that way you can switch in between attackers. Uh, because what you want to do early game is I want to give a shout out to Calvin. Uh, he actually told me what to do early game. So early game, you want to Rare King to Gothitelle turn one. All right? This means you can't use Gothrita because we don't have a Gothrita underneath it. So you can't time recall for Gothrita. So you're going to get a Gothitelle. This is going to slow down your opponent while getting a Gothrita on the bench. And then next turn, you're going to get a Gothitelle out in play. So you are at least going to have Duke. Two Gothitelles out. One of them is not going to have the evolution, while one of them is going to mainly evolve. And that's how we're going to do it. We're going to try to get a turn two Gothitelle, shut down our opponent's items, and then mainly evolve a bench Goth Gothita into a Gothitelle, which is really, really nice. So that's what we're going to do here today. And that's all the Pokemon we play in the deck. 
then I place one computer search just for consistency purposes. And just in case we don't have enough energy disruption, we play four Crushing Hammer. Pull up a coin of heads, discard energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon, which is really, really nice. And not only that, we play four Junk Arms to discard two cards from your hand. Search to, search, search to discard file for a trainer card, show it to your opponent, and put it into your hand, which means you can use Crushing Hammer. So not only do you have Deleting Glare, you have Crushing Hammer, and you have Junk Arms for this, which is really, really nice. You have three Love Ball to get a Pokemon 90 HP or less. Two Pokemon Catcher, which is really, really nice. A lot of decks, what can happen is you can catch up a Pokemon and keep it stuck in the active spot while deleting energy off the bench, maybe on the active while they're trying to retreat it, which is really cool. And I do love Catcher a lot in this deck. You do have to flip another Heads. Uh, this one says automatically switch, but it is a coin flip now. Flip a coin of Heads, you switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with one of their active Pokemon. One random Receiver. A reveal card so you find a supporter card. And this is mainly used for junk arms. So you get junk arm for a random receiver to hit a supporter card, which is really nice. Three rare candy to try to guarantee that will turn one. A turn two Gothadel. One super raw to give back three combination of Pokemon and energies. One tool scrapper. So like I said earlier, if your opponent does get down to Garbodor with the Flowstone, you're you're pretty much done though. You're done. Because you can't use uh Celebi, you can't use Victini, you can't use uh you can't use Gothitelle, you can't use Caldeo. But what you can do is you can tool scrap for one turn, get rid of that flowstone, and then you'll be A-OK. -okay. Um, now Garbodor's uh, Garbo Toxin is shut off. It doesn't work anymore. We're just really, really nice. Two, Ke two Ultra Ball uh, to help you get the, the Goth Tail, the Caldeo, and the Celebi out in play. Four in, two Juniper, three Oak, and three Skyla. Now, the deck does play Heavy Skyla because all you really need, need to do is Skyla for like a Crush Hammer. Skyla for a Tropical Beach. Skyla for a Love Ball. Because you're going to try to turn one Tropical Beach, draw seven cards in your hand, and hopefully have a turn two Rare Candy Gothadel because you play three Rare Candy and four Gothadel. Um, this does seem kind of hard sometimes, but I promise it does work. Two Flowstone for the Keldeo and six Psych Energies. And so that is the deck. This is the Deleting Glare Gothadel deck. I think this deck is still really strong in this format, especially when you get the turn two Gothadel. Your opponent can use Dark Patch. You can use Energy Surge. Um, they can't put flowstones down, it was just really, really nice. So today, we're going to see this deck, and we're going to see what happens. The game is rather long, but it is a really, really good game, I think so. Um, so we're going to see what happens today. Can Deleting Air Gothel take a game or not? Uh, thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, putting against Saz, Moles, playing a Water, Dark, something else kind of deck. Call heads like always, and let's see what are we playing against. So we lost the coin, as so well. Be going second. Let's see who goes first. And my opponent will probably, yeah, they are going to opt to go first. All right, so we get a Celebi start. My opponent has no base Pokemon. Put down Celebi. And it'll probably just go for a Professor Oak unless we hit like a, uh, okay. So it looks like it is a Quackstar, Jolteon, some, some, something with a lot of energies deck. Perfect. All right, so please wait while your opponent chooses an act Pokemon. Seems like they're playing a bunch of Pokemon, which makes me kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. So let's see what's going to happen. Yes, we're dropping the Molo game. We get a Junk Arm. And there is a Mewtwo. All right, so we see a, a Psychic Energy going to the active. We see a Chain. Going to draw three cards for my opponent. It's okay. Uh, Bufalog coming down. And a pass on to our turn. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to catch up this Bufalog. And I guess we'll go for a Judge. All right, so Judge, we're going to show up, I mean, uh, Judge, Professor Oak's new theory, sorry. We're going to show up our hands to deck and draw six new cards. There's a Gothita. We get a, a Psychic Energy, another Crush Hammer. And all right, so we get discard that Psychic Energy, put a Victini down, and we get pass on to my opponent's turn. All right, so if my opponent plays DC, they could maybe start attacking us next turn with Axe Ball, but hopefully they don't. Like, they just play, like, a bunch of energies, which is still going to be fairly hard. Uh, but maybe we'll be able to do it. Maybe we can make it where opponent can never take attack. But there, oh, baby, there's a DCE chair. Going to draw three cards for my opponent. Okay. A Eevee coming down. And there's an X-Ball for 40 damage. All right. So on our turn, I'm going to play this Professor Oak's new theory. Going to show up our hands to deck and draw six new cards. All right. So we get a Tronco Beach. Um, I guess we'll go for another Crush Namer. Else. Perfect. Um, let's show card, discard one and two. We're gonna go for another Crush Hammer, trying to discard that DCE, and then we'll play the Tropical Beach to set up for a new hand of seven. And heads, there we go. We'll discard that, and we'll Tropical Beach, getting six new cards in our hand. There's a Gotharita, a Gothitelle. Uh, Celebi might have to still take for a little while. Celebi might get knocked out as well. Uh, but let's see what happens. What can my opponent do this turn? 
Uh, either way, we're going to put down a Gotharita, we'll put down a Gothitelle, and probably just hold onto his hand. We see a Water Jingle into the active, and a pass on to our turn. Alright, so we get an Oak. Uh, let's put down Gothrita. I know I said it's going to hold onto his hand, but I might just play the Oak, and then use Tropical Beach. Uh, see how this Oak? We're going to shuffle our hand to deck and draw six new cards. Alright, so we get double Love Ball, which Love Ball is pretty much useless right now. We already have everything out in play that we need. So I'm going to Junk Arm, discard one and two. We're going to go for another Crush Namer. Yes, sir. And let's see what's going to happen. We'll play the Crush Namer. Trying to discard that Water G and Tails. Okay. And it'll go for a Chocolate Beach. Uh, we got a Psych Energy, a Gothita, uh, some other stuff. No Gothitelle, but next time we can put a Psych Energy in the active, retreats to Gothita, and hopefully get the Gothitelle out and play. That's what we're trying to hope for, and uh, start doing some Deleting Glare. Now, the only downside is, oh man, is uh, X-Ball will do 20, 40 times 2, 80 damage, which could easily to start knocking us out. We see a 40 damage going to the active. All right, so on our turn, we get a Ultra Ball. With the Ultra Ball, I'm going to discard a Vitini. And a Juniper. And with this, I'm going to grab the Keldale EX if it's in the deck. And it's Bryce. All right, so we'll grab Goth Tail. We'll put down the Goth Tail. <laughs> put down Gotharita. Put a Psych Energy on the active. And we will play a N. Yep, we'll play an N. Go shuffle our hands in the deck and draw six new cards. And, all right, so we get a catcher. This catcher could be huge. If we can hedge, catch our heads on the booth line, uh, we can bring it up and keep it stuck in the axe spot and head. So we will bring up that booth line. We'll free treat into the goth tail, and we will use the deleting glare. And let's see, there is a head. So we will not flip that again. It will discard one of those water energies. That's what we want to see there. All right, so we're going to discard that water energy, and the lock has started. Oh, it's my opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, can they start doing anything or not? There is a uh, Whooper coming down. Charon going to draw three new cards. Okay. And let's see what else does my opponent have. Now, the only bad thing is my opponent might... We might actually deck out before my opponent does. Like, we have 22 cards left. There's a Lightning going to the active. Okay. Um, A Leaf Yarn coming down, which I really don't care about too much about. And on to our turn. All right. So, I'm going to put the other God Cell down. Let's see, how many crushing it? We've played two Crush Namers. So we probably have some more left in deck. So let's go for Skyla. And with this, we'll grab a Crush Namer. All right, so we have one Crush Namer and two Junk Arms left. So let's go for Crush Namer. And let's see, do we flip Heads or Tails? Heads. All right, so just card a Lightning Engine in the active. Put a Lightning Engine in this guy. And we'll go for another Deleting Glare. Um, yeah, we'll go for Deleting Glare and Tails. All right, so yes, we'll flip again. Come on, Deleting Glare and Heads. All right, so just card the Water G off the Mewtwo. And now opponent has no energies in play. Alright, so my opponent's turn they draw a card. And they have played one, two, three, four, five energies so far. The question is, will Gothitelle start using Mad Kinesis to take knockouts or not? There's a dark energy on the active, but on our turn. I think I'm gonna put a psychic energy in the active. Does Mad Kinesis knock him out? Uh three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It does not yet. I'm gonna go for another deleting glare. Tells. Alright, we'll reflip again. And oh my goodness, the double tells. It does happen, but man, that that does stink. All right, so my opponent's turn. They're going to draw a card, and they have a DC. They could use 60. There's a lightning going to the active. Okay. And the pass on our turn. We get a junk arm. So I'm going to junk arm, discard one and two. And with this, I'm going to grab a crushing hammer. Okay. Well, we should probably maybe get super odd. Whatever. We'll grab a crushing hammer. Play the crushing hammer. Heads, we're going to discard a dark energy. And then we'll go for another Deleting Glare. And it has. There we go. No, I would not like to flip again. We'll discard a Light Energy. All right. And like I said earlier, my opponent is probably playing a ton of energies. We discarded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven energies so far. But next turn, we can start using Mad Kinesis, which would be very, very great. Uh, we can start putting pressure on this Bufalon. Unless they... Okay, nope. Never mind. Another energy comes down. Okay. On our turn, we get an in. I'm going to hold on to it right now. I'm going to go for another Deleting Glare. Tells, uh, let's flip again. Heads, there we go. So we'll discard that energy off the active. Okay, so another one is gone. All right. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight energies are gone so far. The question is, how many energies does my opponent play? I feel like it might be 20 plus. Like, it might be a ton of energies, which is going to be really hard. But we are, we are doing it. We are doing it right now. We're keeping the energies off my opponent's side of the field. We are down three crush neighbors and three junk arms, which is the only downside right now. Um, yeah, so another slide, another energy goes to the active, okay. I want to art turn. We'll go for another, uh, deleting glare. And there we go, we'll say no, we'll discard the energy one more time, alright. 
All right, so the opponent's turn. And let's see what happens. They can't. There's no way they can really put their energies back in the deck that I can think of. I don't. Well, fishman might be legal if that's the case. Be pretty, be pretty brutal. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, let's see what will my opponent do this turn. All right, so they're still down on energies. They have no energies on the field right now. To pass on our turn. Finally. All right, so I'm gonna use Mad Kinesis. Uh, we're gonna do a, a ton of damage. I see we're doing uh, 70 damage, 7, 8, 9. We can potentially just one-shot this Mewtwo if we want to as well. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Oh, that's actually scary. If they have a DC, they could knock us out with this Mewtwo. Maybe going for Catcher to bring out that Mewtwo. So knocking out is probably the best play. All right, so in our turn, I think right now I'm just going to go for another Deleting Glare. Yeah, we're going for another Deleting Glare. Heads, all right. We'll press no. We won't flip again. Discard that Water Energy. Yeah, I think the next turn... If they don't put an energy on this boot floor, I'm going to catch up this Mewtwo and try to take a knockout on it. If we can flip heads, we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay to flip heads and knock out that Mewtwo. Um, I think that's the only real, like, scary threat. I'm not, I'm not really, like, concerned about this boot flaunt. Uh, Leaf on could be scary because Energy Crush can do 20, 40, 60 every turn they attack, which could be scary as well. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but let's see. Will my opponent do anything right now? They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10 energies in the discard pile. Usually this would be game over. Like, you're like, all right, my opponent has no more energies. They might have two more left. But no, who knows with this deck? They could have a ton. They could have barely any. And it is still very scary. Have we played a Super Rod? We have not played a Super Rod as well, which is great. That's that's another thing to note. Uh, Squirtle coming down, okay. And will we see a pass or not is the big question here. Um, Leah she, what's going to happen? Now, this will also be our last junk arm. So let's press Oak's new theory. Go to shuffle the hidden deck and draw six new cards, all right? Okay, and let's see, does my opponent find another energy or not? There's a dark energy going to meet you, okay? And I think this turn we're going to go for a Lysander. I'm going to uh, Junk Arm, discard the Ultra Ball, and the Gotha Tail. Yeah, that seems fine. And with this, we're going to go for Catcher. We're going to try to bigger that Mewtwo and take a knockout on it. Uh, let's see, so Catcher. Heads, all right, so we're going to bring in that Mewtwo. We'll do 20. Our three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll use Mad Kinesis uh, for the knockout, doing 180 damage. But like I said, this is going to open a door for the Leaf Gun. Leaf Gun can start coming up and use an Energy Crush never turn. But we will take two prize cards, a Skyla and a Gotharita. All right, so let's see who does my opponent decide to send up. If I was my opponent, I'd definitely send his Leaf Gun and start using Energy Crush every turn. Like I said, this pretty much does put us in a weird position. But they already have so many energies discarded. We might be okay, maybe not. There's an Energy Crush doing 60, okay. On our turn, we get it. Okay, that's not what we really need. Um, We don't have any more Love Balls left either, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so I'm just going to go for another uh, Deleting Glare. Heads, all right, we'll press no. We won't discard the, we will discard the Light Energy. We just won't free flip, all right? So on my opponent's turn, we have discarded so many energies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 energy so far. And there's another energy coming down. This is a bland energy. Uh, there's another energy crush doing 60 more damage. Oh, my goodness. How many energies does my opponent play? Uh, we get it in. We'll go for another deleting glare. Yes. Heads. All right. We'll press no. Discarding the energy one more time. All right. So my opponent's turn. They play bland. They play DC. They play basic energies. They, my opponent plays everything. That's oh my goodness, another energy comes down and we'll see another energy crush. But now these energy crushes are only gonna start doing 20 damage if we can find a psych energy, which we should be able to. I'm gonna use Skyla, gonna get a super rod, put some cards back into our deck, use computer search and get a um Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's the best play. So let's Skyla, let's see if it is Super Rod in the deck. It is in the deck, that's great. Uh no more energies are left in deck, so we will probably shuffle back three energies. The so Super Rod, going to put three energies back to the deck. I think we have, yeah, we must have multiple prize. Oh, uh, we have four. Yeah, we have two prize. All right, so put those three in the deck. We'll computer search, discard, rare candy, red candy. And with this, we will grab a psychic energy, okay? Put a psychic energy in the active, and let's go for the deleting glare. Let's see what's going to happen. And it tells, all right, we'll reflip again. Yes. And it has. So we'll discard the energy one more time. All right, so now opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, they'll probably have another energy. Smack us for another 20. I slowly start. Uh, there's a Caldeo EX coming down, which could be great. Uh, Blastoise coming down. Uh, no, War Total coming down. Man, if they play Deluge Blastoise, that might be a little bit scary. We get a Psychic Energy. Okay. Do I put that on the active or not? 
Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Um, let's just go for the Hypnotic Gaze with the Leaf Gone Asleep, so that way they can't maybe attack us next turn. Uh, Tails, they don't wake up. All right, so no opponent's turn. They're going to draw a card. And we win this game or not, that is the big question. Okay, it looks like they do stay asleep. All right, so on our turn, I think I'm going to commit a, a, a Psychic Energy to this guy, and I'm going to go uh, for a Double Slap. A Tails and a Heads. You reflip that again. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we'll say no. Just keep to flip double tails. And what we can do next turn is type the psychic energy active and knock it out. So it does stay asleep. Oh, it's my opponent's turn. Okay. These ends are going to save us. That's going to be our lifesaver in this deck. We see a Quagsire coming down. As any damage done to Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. Okay. So on our turn, can we find a psychic energy? And we don't find one yet. Uh, do we go for the end or not is the big question. How many have we played? We have two in the hand, one in the discard palace. We have three left overall. Uh, let's go for it. Let's yeah, let's play it in, and we need a psychic energy. Yes, I'm fine with this. I know we get a new hand, our opponent new hand at five, but if we take a knockout this turn, we'll be okay, and we don't hit it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go for a. Tr um, no, let's go for another double slap. I was contemplating playing like Tropical Beach, but I don't want to deck us out. And oh, heads. Uh, we'll say no. We won't like to flip again. We'll do at least 20 damage to the active, okay? Tails, they stay asleep as well, which is great. And this is great because my opponent says it's Caldeo. It'll stay in the act spot because it needs two energies to retreat, okay? Alrighty, and let's see what's going to happen. And I'm not going to touch the Flowstone either. I'm going to keep that in my hand just in case my opponent does put down a... Uh... Well, they can't They can't even catch anybody up because we don't have... Yeah, they can't catch anybody up because we have the uh, Gothstone play, which is great. So I guess the Flowstone doesn't really matter. Uh, why did you do the active? Okay, uh, heads, it does wake up. Can we top deck a psychic energy right here? And the answer is no. So I'm going to go for another deleting glare. Tells, yes, I like to reflip again. It tells, oh my goodness, another double tell. So 20, 40. They're going to hit us for 40 damage, which is not a knockout. We'll still be okay, but we need to find, I guess I need to get out another Gothita. Yeah, we're probably going to get another Gothita out in play. If we don't, this guy could be knocked out. Not in the next turn, but maybe in three turns. All right, so let's see what's going to happen. Well, my opponent do, they'll probably go for an energy crush for 2040, which is not a knockout. We'll be okay. Uh, the question is, do we have enough turns to win the game or not? So energy crush for 40, okay. On our turn, we get a Gothita, which is great. Uh, we're going to go for another uh, Deleting Glare, okay. Tails, oh my goodness, yes, I like to flip again. And heads, all right, discarding that's like the water energy off the active, all right. How many energies are gone? 1, 2, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 energies. Oh my goodness, please stop. Another energy crush, 440 more damage. We need to find a we need to find a psychic energy right now. And oh, we got an in. Oh man. Okay, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're still okay. If they have another energy, they can't take a knockout this turn. So once again, I'm gonna go for another de deleting glare. Tells, okay. Yes, I'll like to reflip. And ahead, so we'll discard that water dew one more time. Okay. Oh my goodness. Can my opponent please run out of energies? Oh my I think there's what eight sixteen in here now. Oh my goodness, another energy comes down one more time. Another energy crush will do 40 damage. That would not knock us out. But can we please top deck our energy or not? And there, oh my goodness, the top decks are real. So we'll put that on this guy and we'll do a mad kinesis for the knockout. Alright, there we go. Finally, we took a knockout. We're going out of three prize cards. Getting another psychic energy, which is great. That's what we need onto this guy. All right. There comes Keldale EX, which I'm actually okay with this being the Axe Spot. My opponent can't retreat this Keldale, and we can maybe two shot it. Uh, yeah, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll get two shot this, and Eevee coming down, which I really don't care about. Woo! All right. So they're going to travel each for one and on to our turn. We get a Gothita. So I'm going to Love Ball for a Gotharita. Okay. We'll put down the Gotharita on the bench. Wait, do we have any more Gothitelles? Two, three, okay, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, We'll go for a Mad Kinesis. Yep. All right, so there is a 90 damage coming down. All right, so my opponent's turn. I guess I should just have Psychic Energy this guy regardless. Uh, But we're looking okay. I was, I was not going to lie, I was a lot, I was so scared. Even though it's not a competitive deck, that, and like not that so serious of a competitive deck, they play so many energies. Oh my goodness, how many have we discarded? Uh, 1, 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 energy so far have been discarded by Bonnie's side of the field. We'll put a psychic energy on this guy, and we are going to go for another Mad Kinesis. Oh, hold on a second. All right, there we go. We'll go for the Mad Kinesis. Take the knockout on the Caldeo X. Can my opponent knock us out next turn? They can. They can go for a Muddy Water. All right, so we get Caldeo and a Crushing Hammer. Okay. There's a Quagsire, which I don't care about. I really don't care about this Quagsire at all. As long as they did throw this Vaporeon, we're okay. Because uh, Vaporeon could have knocked us out next turn. There's a Hound Door coming down. Okay. And let's see. There is a Blastoise coming down with the Luge. Oh, my goodness. But does my opponent have any more energies or not? That is the big question. Uh, we'll put down, we'll put down Keldeo, I don't think, does it even matter? We'll put down Keldeo, put down a Floodstone, there's no way to, like, delete our top cards or deck that I know of, so let's just go for another Mad Kinesis. Wait, can we have knocked him out this turn? What's Super Cybolt? Oh, just 50 damage. Alright, so 70 damage, and can I put a final way to retreat this Quagsire or not, and if they don't, we can knock it out with Mad Kinesis and take the game against this deck with, like, 16 plus energies. And a pass on to our turn. So now we're going to Mad Kinesis for the... Wait, let me make sure. Uh, the three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yeah, we're going to Mad Kinesis for the knockout and taking the game with this Gothel Celebi Victini deck. And there we go, guys. Maybe we priced two Psychic Energy, but hey, we still did it. Oh my goodness, that was such a great game. Uh, even though it wasn't very competitive for my opponent's side of the field, you can see how great of a deck this works, or how great of a deck this is. So we see uh, Mr. Price coming down. And let's see, can we see my opponent's deck or not? We can. Alright, so they play a 1-1 one, one Blastoise. All this different stuff. They play 22 energies. They play uh, 2 energy retrievals, which is great that we have out the uh, the Gothel. They play energy search. They could have searched more energies. They play 3 energy searches as well as 22 energies. Oh my goodness. But hey, we still took it down. We took out this deck with 22 energies. That was still fairly close. And you can see how great of a deck this is. Like, being able to control... Oh my goodness, they play a Jolte uh, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Espeon, and Leafeon. This is a crazy deck. But there you go, guys. There is the Gothel deck. I know we did play that against that competitive of a deck, but it was still really, really great to see against uh, us play against it. How many opponents... No opponents even take prize cards? Uh, they took one price card, but hey, there we go, guys. But there we go. That is the concept of God's Tale's leading glare. Uh, thanks once again for watching, guys. Shout out to Calvin one more time for giving the list, the original list, and I kind of uh, changed a little bit just off of there. But hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great Wednesday. Alrighty. Bye. All right, guys. Just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. Alrighty.